So we have some of this slime, but it's all the same color and it's kind of nasty looking. Well, I mean, some people might like that, but I think it might be interesting to add some food coloring. So we have this food coloring here. We have lots of red because I think red could look pretty neat. So we have these colors, blue, yellow, green, and red. And instead of coloring the entire bunch, I'm going to break it off into little, little pieces. So let's get a nice ball. Let's make sure that we have a lot of acetone dissolved into it. Now you don't really need gloves, but I'm going to have gloves because I don't want to stain my hand because like my hands turn red and blue and whatnot. I mean, if you want that, you can do that, but I don't want that. But the chemicals themselves actually are not all that dangerous. I mean, after all, this is styrofoam and acetone, and people use acetone every day to remove their fingernail polish. So we get a nice little... Ah, oh, it looks like a brain. Look at that. Ew! Cut in half again. There we go. It's pretty good. Let's mix that around. Get a nice ball of it. Now, we want to we want to take some of this. Let's start off with blue. So it's only a few drops. Now, let's see about rubbing it. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so weird. So, so weird. Just mix it around and see what happens. Getting a little bit in there. A little bit of blue. I think we should add some more though. Now let's fold it in. Whoa, whoops. <laughs> Spilled a bit over. See if we can get that up. Oh my god, no. Okay, there we go. Now it's starting to turn blue. Yeah, look at that. It's weird. So it's weird. It seems to act very strangely. It doesn't actually mix in that well. Let's get some more acetone and Pour that on there. So this will make it all liquidy again. Oh yeah, that's working. So strange. So evidently, I guess the food coloring doesn't react very well with the acetone. I wonder if it's water-based. It could be. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. So there we have some uh, kind of blue. Well, that didn't go as well as I hoped. So let's try again. Let's try some yellow. Okay, this might actually be mixing a lot better than the blue did. Spilled a little bit. It's so disgusting looking. It smells terrible. Now let's try some some red.
The red's not going very well at all. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm curious though. Let's see. Let's take some blue. Mix it with some green. Maybe we'll get some teal. It's a little bit tealish. If you look at it from afar, but it's unfortunate that the inside is still white. It's very difficult to color this. Looks like it's giving us a little bit of purple. I can go for that. A little purple there. Okay, let's get some yellow. This one's getting pretty hard. Uh, yellow and green. Oh, that one mixed really well. Now these colors are pretty similar though, so it didn't really do much. It's more of a yellowish green or a greenish yellow. I'm really disappointed with this red, so let's get some better dye. That is a lot of dye, a lot of coloring right there. You do not want to mess this up. Not the greatest, but there's most likely better ways to do this. But oh well, I mean, I'm still happy with that. I kind of want to see what happens if I throw these against a wall. Will they imbue the dye into the wall? Let's go see. Oh, look at that. It left a mark. red. Ew. That didn't actually do anything at all. Whoa! That made a good mark. This is the purple one. Okay, so we have the purple one. And then we have the other one. I can't remember what color this one was. Looks like that was dark green. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, so if you guys are ever doing slime with coloration, I recommend adding the color before you dissolve the slime. That way it can mix in really well. Well, I don't know what else to do with this, so I say let's catch it on fire. I'm wetting them again with a little bit more acetone just to make things a little bit more lively. I say let's light this one and then see if it travels over there. Whoa! So weird how it turns white. Oh, there we go. Finally gotten over there. Almost like a pancake. Oh, you can see the food coloring coming out. I guess the food coloring doesn't burn. It's so weird. So this is acting like a barrier so the wind doesn't blow it away. When we break that barrier, the fire can maybe start traveling this way. Or maybe the wind is keeping the fire from getting up here. Ah uh, yeah, that's what's happening. So the wind is, is keeping it from going up here. Now if I, if I take a piece of wood and I go like this, Whoa, it's getting really hot now. Now 
Now this is just the polystyrene itself burning. It's all turning into one giant pancake too. Woo! This uh, smokes a bit black, so you don't want to get that on your camera or in your lungs or pretty much anything. Definitely need a burn pit handy to handle this type of fire because this is basically a large styrofoam fire, I guess. A lot of energy in there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> See, that's what happens. Things can catch on fire. That's the acetone container I was, I was using. But that's fine. Once again, it's still on the bricks, so it's it has a controlled failure mode. And also I have a garden hose handy just in case. Okay, maybe burning this wasn't the greatest idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our neighbors burn tires though, so at least it's okay in this area. Our neighbors are pretty okay with this kind of stuff. Around here there aren't actually any laws against burning styrofoam, I don't think. But if you're in the city, of course, I mean, you'd probably go to jail or something like that if you did this. But that is one good thing about living in the middle of nowhere. Well, look at that. It's a good way to start a fire and burn some of the extra wood in the yard. Well, that's pretty much it. These videos are pretty popular, so I want to do more videos in this series, but I'm kind of running out of ideas. I have an idea for maybe one or two more videos, but that's it. So let me know what you, think, what you guys think I should do next, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.